morning lovely peeps uh, i just want to share something with this chat group given that you are you guys are very opinionated and not afraid to sort of voice your opinions and i want your opinions um the group is set up to help people who have a short-term need to feed themselves these are people in isolation vulnerable don't have anywhere else to go if they're out of area, we'll deal with that on a day-by-day -day case. But generally speaking, San Diego people who are hungry, struggling to get by with food and sort of other things, we'll try and help them best we can. We've got links to other agencies and referrals, but principally the hub is set up to provide not necessarily a food bank or a shop, or a, a library, but a way to feed people who are in trouble. That's an, an essential uh, requirement. So what I thought I would do is just talk through what, what's happening. I want people to shout up. And um, these two tables here, if we get deliveries of stuff, we'll put it on them tables. Also, if we end up in a position where we are distributing food, we'll put food on our tables for people to collect. So this is sort of a, demarcation line uh, if nobody's seen what's inside the hub let me sort of quickly show you so donations coming in will go onto this shelf here so this is yesterday's donations they come in here now Andy Cole's offered to sort of head up that and do it and or get other people to help them do that someone else called Mark Turnbull is coming in every evening to organize the foodstuffs into some sort of order so that when we get an inquiry for someone who's hungry and vulnerable and isolating and doesn't have the support we can allocate foodstuffs according to this board now this is the great stuff that stephanie did and in a lot of respects we're following on building what stephanie did so on this board shows the allocation to provide a family or a single person with enough food to keep us going for three days. These are the priority stuff. So when we get a request in, we can go to that shelf, pick from that shelf, enough provisions. When we can put it into boxes or parcels, we put it onto this shelf on this side. And the volunteers who are collecting and taking the stuff out pick from this shelf uh, we have names on the bags and then the stuff goes out the door now what i would say is one person in here at any one time and maybe another person out there obviously social distancing we can't have two people in here because you're breathing uh, all over each other so we, we can't really have that so whatever your thoughts are on what i've just said shout up i'm not a professional and i'm trying to take it over best i can and run and manage it we are doing more preparation than delivering at the minute and you know hopefully sort of in three months time we're not needed anymore certainly the regulation industries are kicking in it seems to me that neighbors are helping each other out a lot more than they have been and, and that's that's a good thing but shout up on anything you've seen or what i'm doing here and you know t tell me i'm wrong or advise me or do something because the only way we're going to beat this is if we all work together but the emphasis is on people in isolation who are vulnerable who have no other means of getting foods and products to them so that that's that's our aim shout up please